So here's how I set up my laser etcher on the lathe. First of all is a small platform built out of old kitchen worktop with a uh, flat surface here on which to put my computer. On top of that goes another layer of kitchen worktop. Another layer of kitchen worktop which can be screwed in via a piece of threaded rod to the base layer so that it sits nice and firm. On top of that goes this piece of MDF which has um, retaining walls if you like to keep the uh, laser etcher in place and this is the height adjustment here is really just to keep this firmly in place what you don't want is too much vibration so there we go the reason for the slope is to try and match the plane of the laser to the surface of the bowl so that you don't get too much distortion So the laser etcher fits nice and snugly on the retaining walls. It's all pretty firm. And you can see that the um, slope of the laser etcher will go somewhere close to matching the slope of a bowl. The whole assembly can be slid to and fro which is helpful when aiming when aiming the laser as we will see shortly here we have a partly turned bowl mounted on the lathe and finished to um, 400 grit sandpaper with a piece of veneer stuck with double-sided gel tape to where I want to etch the pattern on the bowl. I do this for two reasons. One, to check that the orientation of the pattern is correct and the other is to make sure the pattern's in the right place. Butterfly is just a little bit too close to the top black line, so I'm moving the uh, design slightly lower so that it sits midway between the two lines. Just going to run the uh, etching again. The butterfly it will be in the same place, but the tail will be slightly lower, and this is just a double check. I'm happy that this is now in the right place uh, and the right sort of density so I'll remove the tape and the veneer and get on with it. I'm now running the etch for a second time because it's a little bit too light in colour so what I will do then is increase the power of the laser and slow it down um, to get the right uh, level of blackness. piece through 20 degrees and start the etching process again.
here's the finished outside of the bowl it's been finished with a coat of uh, cellulose sanding sealer and here's the finished bowl on the inside again same with a single coat of cellulose sanding sealer This is the second method that I've used for um, doing the outside, um, laser etching the outside of the bowl. Uh, the mechanism is built on a what used to be a um, stand for a grinder, which can be moved up and down and tilted so that the plane of the bowl can be uh, presented to the laser as near uh, parallel as possible. The um, chuck is mounted on a very short shaft which is mounted to a piece of MDF in a linear bearing because that's what I had available and is driven by a sepa motor which is controlled by the same mechanism by the same electronic control as I've used for the other method. As before I'm, I've um, attached a small piece of veneer in position as a test. Test the strength of the laser. Okay, so now what I've done is reduce the power of the laser, added something called air assist, which blows air as the laser cuts. That should help reduce some of the impact. Uh, redwood being fairly soft, the pattern is obviously going to be quite uh, easily burned in. So here we go, try again. First of all, check that the pattern is going to be etched in the right place, which it is. And off we go. Okay, now we'll move it through twenty degrees, I think. And cut the next one. Let's just check the position. Let's make that 15 degrees. Try again. I want them to be almost linking in touch. Well, that looks about right. Off we go then.
so there we have it uh, the overall effect is not really as clean as I would have liked let's try and get a bit of a better view of it so um, I'll try and see if the slightly blurred edges will clean up on the lathe if not we'll probably junk this and start and try and do something else well as you can see the pythons did clean up on the lathe they're quite um, clearly defined not a particularly inspiring pattern I think but uh, we've all got to start somewhere I've now burned in a couple of lines uh, using the normal wire technique on a spinning lathe and I think the overall effect is reasonably pleasing. A good first try.